Hi, it's Andy from Majorcraft. I'm going to show you how to change a whirl on your Majorcraft wheel. I'm going to put a slow whirl on a Suzy Pro today. You'll need the 2mm Allen key that came with your wheel. And I'm also going to show you something tricky. I recommend having a small tube like this or an open end wrench. The important part is that the wrench has a hole in the end. Smaller is better, which is why the tube is best, because it's got a tiny hole. You'll notice that if you try and put the short end of the Allen key into the grub screw on the whirl, it's really tricky to fit around your head. So here's the clever part. Put the Allen key in end on. Make sure it goes right down deep into the grub screw. And then you use the hole in the end of your wrench to leave the Allen key around. I really recommend using the tube. It's much easier to work than the wrench, like this. Now what we use in the workshop are these 2mm T-wrenches. They're made out of really good steel so they don't burr on the end. You simply slip the Allen key into the grub screw and undo it. Now it's time to take the belt off the whirl and you slide the whirl off the flyer shaft. Here is the first important thing you need to notice. There is a flat ground into the flyer shaft. Your grub screw has to line up with that flat when you screw the whirl back up. Slide the whirl onto the flyer shaft. I've put the belt on for demonstration purposes. The grooves on the whirl and the drive wheel must be as close to parallel as you can get them. When you have the whirl and drive wheel in line, put your Allen key back in and do the grub screw up firmly, making sure that it goes onto the flat on the flyer shaft. Put the belt back on and you've finished.